Hi, I'm Jerry Weiland. I'm a research plant pathologist with USDA ARS in Corvallis, Oregon. I study nursery diseases. Today we're going to be scouting for boxwood blight. It's a recently introduced fungus to the United States. It causes leaf spots and stem lesions on boxwood. So come on, let's go see if we can find any. So in a container situation, I start looking for boxwood blight as soon as I enter the block. I'm looking around on the ground for any defoliation. I'm looking for shaded areas where moisture might collect. I'm also looking for any leaky irrigation that might also collect moisture. And so I'm just looking for anything that appears out of the ordinary that breaks the pattern of healthy plants. Are, are there any plants that appear particularly brown? Are there any plants uh, that just look a little off color? So as I'm walking along, I see this one plant here that's got some defoliation going on. There's some dropped leaves down here in the gravel. And that makes me wonder if something's going on. I see some browning on the side of the plant. So I start that process of looking down low and seeing if I see any other symptoms of leaf spots there. Don't forget to go around the perimeter looking for symptoms. And also don't forget to look in the interior of the plant where the humidity collects. Uh, this can be a great place for symptoms to start and you might miss them if you're just looking from the outside upper surface of the plant. And as we get closer to the plant we're looking at individual parts here, looking at the stems, looking for defoliation like this. Don't forget to look underneath. Sometimes those stem lesions form down low and you have to look at the underneath of the uh, stem to see black stem lesions. Also look for leaf spots. Some of these leaves don't look too healthy and that might be potential boxwood blight symptom there. So when I come to a field situation like this, I'm looking around and seeing if there are any areas that might be particularly at risk for disease. I'm looking for irrigation risers, any leaky irrigation, any shaded areas. And then as I'm coming down the row of each uh, boxwood planting, I'm looking down low on the plant to see if I can see any defoliation, any leaves on the ground, any leaf spots, anything that sticks out as this plant isn't healthy. So let's take a look at this plant. So in addition to looking low, looking around the perimeter of the plant and inside, also keep an eye out on the north side of the plant where symptoms can be more severe because it stays moist longer. And don't forget to brush off the soil that clings to the plant so you can see the symptoms. Consider an extra set of scouting clothes, something lightweight that you can throw in the laundry at the end of the day. Wear disposable gloves so if you come into contact with boxwood blight, you can take them off and throw them away. Disinfect your footwear. I recommend something waterproof with minimal tread that is easy to clean. Make sure to clean off any mud and debris before sanitizing with isopropanol or other disinfectant of your choice. Scout when plants are actively growing. This is when they're the most susceptible and it's easiest to see the disease. Lastly, before you head into the next field or block, consider power washing your equipment. And that's how we look for boxwood blight. We start at the population level, either in the field or a block of containers, and we start uh, looking in areas where the susceptibility might be the highest, in shaded areas where the moisture collects, or next to irrigation lines that are leaking. And also, I tend to target in on locations where I see any defoliation occurring. Once we sort of have our target areas in the field or container block, we narrow in on the plants that we think have symptoms that look sick. And I start looking low in the plant canopy for leaf spots and stem lesions. Can also look underneath the plant or in the interior where that humidity is highest. Again, looking for defoliation, leaf spots, and stem lesions. If you suspect you have symptoms of box of blight and you think you have the disease, take some samples and send them to your local private or public laboratory for a diagnosis.